At this point, I think we can all agree that websites just look so much better when you integrate some sort of really cool 3D animation. But isn't 3D really hard to do? Actually, no. It's actually really, really easy to do with a couple of great online tools. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create 3D elements and animations and get them into your website with zero code. Let me introduce you to Spline, which is an amazing 3D tool. It's all browser-based, it's free to sign up. Not only can you create these cool 3D kind of visualizations, but you can also create interactions. Notice how I move my mouse around moves with it. You can create hover effects as I hover over things. It's super awesome and easy to use and it's free to get signed up. So all you got to do is go up here and press get started. I already have an account, so I'm going to log into my account. You can see we get access to lots and lots of really cool things. Now you might be saying to yourself, Jesse, there's no way that I could design something like this. I'm just not good at doing anything with 3D art, right? Me neither, okay. But what I am good at is coming over here to the community tab, clicking on that and shopping from thousands of free 3D assets that other people have made. And so if I'm looking for something to actually add to my project, it's as simple as clicking here, remixing it, and then adding it in. I'm gonna jump over to my no-code website builder of choice, which is Wix Studio, and I have a project cooking right now that is this cool NFT website, and it features some shots of this application that I've designed. Now, it's cool, but it's kind of flat, it's kind of boring. I'd love to add some sort of cool 3D element right here on the right-hand side. So I'm gonna be looking for some sort of phone over in Spline. I'm gonna come back to the community, and up here I'll just search for the word phone, and we get tons and tons of free assets that are made available to us. This one looks really cool, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And when I do that, it loads it up inside of the previewer. You can see that we're gonna get access to this really, really cool phone. Now, it's a video that's playing inside of the phone. I have this hand holding it, but you'll notice as I move my mouse around, it's actually going to follow my mouse in 3D space. And notice this, there are some environmental lighting that it's kind of reflecting off of my element, which is really, really cool. So all I have to do is press this purple remix button and I'll have access to my version of it. All right, Spline has gone ahead and loaded up our project. You can see we have our object here in the middle. And when you click on objects inside of any 3D tool, you get access to these really interesting controls, just moving it around in 3D space, rotating things and moving it up, down, left, right, all sorts of controls. But for us, one of the things we really care about is this little yellow polygon right here. This represents the camera. It represents what my scene is actually gonna see. And if we wanna see what our camera is showing us. I can click up here in the layers panel, hit on camera, and look, I get this cool little view of what our project is going to actually look like. So if I want to, I can take that camera and move it around. And because we have that shot of our NFT sitting on the right-hand side, I'm just gonna make this thing one whole big image that we're gonna group in there. And I'll try popping it over to the right, or maybe I'll just maybe I'll just size it down. So maybe I will keep it dead center. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now you notice that it tells me to put my screen here. So I have this dynamic phone mock-up. I'm actually gonna move over to my assets panel inside of Spline. And I'm gonna go down and you can see I have this media assets section. So I can actually click on that and it opens up our video asset. We can replace the MP4. Now I have a video of that I just filmed and recorded inside of Figma of the prototype happening. So that's gonna get popped in there right now. So I'm gonna press place video and you'll see that it's now uploaded my design, my video inside there, okay? Now we can preview this really quickly. Uh, let's just jump out of there and press play. And you can see we get this really cool thing where it's following us along and it's actually playing and looping my prototype inside. So pretty cool. Now we do have a background already inside of our website. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to just come in here and I'm going to go back to my objects and I'm gonna hide the environment. I don't need this whole 3D environment around it. I just need the element itself. And again, go back to the camera and this is what we're gonna see right down here. Now, if I wanna just pull this over and center it a little bit more, we can do that. Looking pretty good. I like that. Okay, now once we're ready, all we have to do is go up to export and you can see that it's immediately gonna start generating an export code for me, a public URL not necessarily the one that I want. I'm gonna to go to viewer and then I'm gonna turn off the logo and there's a bunch of different place settings 
you can actually integrate or export with. So do we want to show the background color? Do we want to be able, be able to do page scroll? You can even allow the user once they're on the website to orbit, pan, zoom, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to keep all of that off and I'm going to go back to overview and just update the viewer again one more time to make sure that this piece of code is the most up-to-date piece of code. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. I've copied it into my clipboard. And I'm going to head over to Wix Studio. And what I'm going to do is go into this section. I'm going to open up the layers and I'm just going to look for an embed. Okay, so I'm going to go to embed and social and this normal embed code right here is going to be perfect for it. So boom, I pop that right in there and I'm going to hit embed code. And this is where I'm going to paste that code that I got. I press update and you can see my animation already happening in there. Now we can choose how we want to integrate this in, but all I'm going to do is kind of I think stretch this out, make it a little bit bigger. All right, well, I feel like I got it in a place that I want it. So let's go ahead and preview this really quickly. It looks really, really cool. You can see it's dropping behind my text and we get this really cool interaction with that environmental lighting. It's just a lot cooler than the flat or static image or even a normal video for that matter just way cooler. That's how easy it is to add some really cool 3D animation and interaction into your website, not a single line of code, and it took what, a couple of minutes? If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell because I do lots of videos about web design and no code development and how to build your business building websites. If you wanna learn more about building websites, check out one of these videos next to me and I'll see you in the next one.